Dearly beloved, we're gathered here in this beautiful place in the sight of God to join together Duane and Paige in Christian marriage. No other human ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those which Duane and Paige now assume. I ask you both to remember that the power to love is a priceless gift given to us to add meaning, beauty, and joy to our lives. In marriage, love must be the foundation on which all other experiences build. If you keep faithfully the promises you are about to make, then your life together will be full of joy, and the home which you now establish will abide in peace. Dwayne, from all the people in the world you've chosen Paige to be your wife, do you promise that you will love her, comfort her, honor her, and be faithful to her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Paige, from all the people in the world you've chosen Dwayne, to be your husband. Do you promise that you will love him, comfort him, honor him, and be faithful to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. I, Dwayne, take you, Paige, to be my wedded wife. Having to hold from this day forward. To love and to cherish for as long as we both shall live. I now pronounce that you are husband and wife together. Let me kiss your bride. Guys, we are here for a tremendous occasion. Dwayne and Paige, amazing. Dwayne, I have never seen you happier. I have never seen you smile more than I have since you met her. And I am just absolutely impressed with what you guys have. We've made a lot of memories over the years, many the result of cheap Mexican beers. Paige, you have your mom's wit and your dad's huge brain. It's a shame that Alex did not inherit the same. <laughs> your marriage shall be filled with joys and great tales. And to think it all began from a few simple emails. My last piece of advice for you and Dwayne, never stop laughing even when the jokes are lame. So please join me in a toast. Let's raise our glasses high to Paige's new bride and Dwayne, her dream guy. 